Hello everyone. Um, so today I want to show you um, the issue I'm having. Okay, so um, now no, I don't know if most of you've heard this, but we have the I two. Let me get it for you. The I two C S H I T driver. Okay, so it wasn't actually working for me. That's my touchpad. It wasn't actually working, and um, I looked for so many methods that could help me. That included me going to the HP website to download the um, the touchpad, and I did first of them. It wasn't actually working. So what I did was um, I went to the site history. It's right here on my history. You can see some of the things I went to. Let me just click on them. Okay, so I went to here. So I have my Signetics touchpad. And I tried even downloading the driver's update, which did not work for me. And uh, so I went to the website itself. Yes, right here. So what I did when I went here was um, I went back. I had to choose my operating system, which is Windows 11 choose here now the problem here is that the version of this operating system is not actually here okay if you look at my laptop let me go to settings right um, system scroll down to about you see that I'm actually using the version 23 h2 so what is on the official website what's on the official website right now is still the 22 h2 and not the 23H2. So what I did was I went to my device drivers, the device manager. So I clicked on my device manager and then under your human interface devices. Now you scroll down. Now this too, I want to explain this too. So we have the I2C HID device. Now this first one has to do with your touchpad. Right, why the second one, which is the I2C HID device, has to do with your touch screen. So, if you disable the second one, right, right click on it and you probably disable it, it's going to um, automatically disable your touch screen. So, probably this, this is a touch screen, right? So, it's not going to work. But the first one is for your touchpad, okay? So, I was actually having a yellow um, icon, a yellow symbol here showing me that it wasn't actually working and that simply means that I had to rely on my touch screen okay so what I did was I right click then I disabled it and then I restarted my system right so you restart your system so Windows is, is going to look for the best possible way to see how we can um, help you out so once I disable I disabled it I went to actions um, scan for hundred changes and then enable it again if it still doesn't work what you can do is right click on it and uninstall okay so we uninstall this device right we start a system and it's going to look for um, the most possible way to see how we can uh, reinstall it for you okay and then that should be able to fix your issue with the touchpad so mine is actually um, working. So I hope this was very helpful for you. Thank you.